How do you like to paint an American bald eagle in watercolour? Well, let me show you some video clips from my main Patreon video, all in real time, on how I painted the highlights on the eagle's beak. Let's get started. And there we go. So I think really now what we're waiting for are the highlights. So we'll get some watercolour white. Right, highlights, here we go. So watercolour white. I showed you how to mix this one earlier on. So what you need is to be like a creamy consistency again, as we had before. Start from the top and work our way down, okay? So, here we go. So I'm gonna start probably here. Anything within the white here, I'm not gonna bother with that just yet because we'll, have, we'll be adding the white into that later on anyway. But for now, what I wanna do is very lightly come down about halfway down the top part of the beak. Using that tip of the brush, remember this is quite creamy, this watercolour white. Just lower the brush, drag it off, roll it into like a little curl. All the way down. As I said before, if you haven't got watercolour white, you can use uh, white gouache or gouache. Not a problem at all, you can use that one. You can even use white acrylic paint. Now, as I said before, white acrylic paint will be more permanent, so you won't be able to take it off. Whereas if I wet this, I can lift it back off again. Acrylic paint, you can't really do that with, but once it's on, it's on there for good. <laughs> do you want to scrape it off then? But you can float colour over the top of the acrylic paint, which is what I like to do sometimes, you know, because it's really, if you want a very vibrant colour, this was white acrylic and I put yellow over the top of it, so yellow would be very bright because the acrylic is an opaque um, kind of medium which will just cover on the top. But anyway, in this case we're using watercolour white. There you go. Now every now and then I've got to put a small mark here and there. I've also noticed as well, just by the beak here, coming out this way, it's a little bit lighter. So I'm going to put a bit of watercolour white in there, dragging the brush over the paper now, this is nearly dry. Let's make use of it. So we've got a little bit of a kind of light spot going on. And then around the very edge of here, I'm going to tap this time around there. It's not a solid white line, just tapping. Bring it together. Okay, try not to overdo the white as well because it's so easy to put too much on. It really is. Just the very tip of the brush. Coming down to the, the bottom of the beak or the tip of the beak. Looking at the shape, you don't want it too long, you don't want it too square, you don't want it too pointy. Now the statue comes quite white around the tip there, so it's quite pale, isn't it? Now when you come back up this way as well, you can see that it's not completely one solid curve, there's a few little bumps here and there as well. Tiny little nodules, tiny little bumps as it comes up the side of the beak. So when I replicate that, I'm going to do the same thing. Down to there, let's get some more. Same again about there. Just to bring that over. I'm looking at the shape, especially the angles as well. Making sure we get the angles just about right. Now I can also see, just around this area, it's a bit of a hook, and a little curve like that. There's a couple of light ones coming through, and there as well. And there's even one going across. <laughs> more here and there just to kind of make that it for that beak. So what we need to do is do exactly the same now for any other areas. Now there aren't that as many highlights on this side of the beak but you want to put a few in here and there like below the nostril not too much don't overdo it. Remember the more water that you add to your watercolour white 
the lighter or paler it will dry. So in other you know, words, if you want it to be just subtle, have it quite watery, okay? So I'll carry on with that, and I'll see you shortly when that bit's done. And uh, I'll put a little bit of music to it. All right, so I'll see you in a moment. Look at the bottom of this beak here. I'm just set about that uh, reflective light. Still see some of it there, but I want to make sure a bit more defined. So a damp, clean brush is what I'm using. I just want to shape it a little bit as well, actually, so it's not quite the right shape. Then lift the paint off. Now, if it's too bright, I'm going to go back into my kind of yellowy, orangey colour, which is uh, lemon yellow and cadmium orange. Just add a little bit of that in there. All right. So then you've got that kind of nice little kind of secondary reflective light. So there you go, that's how to paint an American Bald Eagle's beak in watercolour. Now if you fancy having a go at this and working on a complete video tutorial, I'll guide you through step by step showing you a variety of techniques on how to do that. I'll also give you the outline drawing, the PDF guide and the photograph to work from as well. To find out more, just simply click on the links below. And remember to click on like, subscribe and share. And of course, you can always comment down below as well. Now the question of the day is, what's your favourite colour? And why is that? Let me know, put it in the comments below. And I'll talk to you all again very soon.